So we're here with director Um Tai Wad, director of Concrete Utopia. I got the chance to watch it at Fantastic Fest. Really loved it. And thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. 오늘 영화제에서 콘크리트 유토피아 너무 잘 봤고요. 오늘 시간 내주셔서 너무 감사드립니다. 감사합니다. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I want to get into talking about the movie as well, but I want to get to know you a little bit. And what were your inspirations to getting into film? Uh, the 영화 현장 미술팀에서 아르바이트를 하면서 영화 현장에 대한 좀 매력을 느끼게 됐고 그러면서 어 처음으로 연출부를 하게 된게제 박찬욱 감독님의 쓰리 몬스터에서 이제 컷이라는 영화의 연출부로 시작을 했고요. 그 뒤에 친절한 금자씨 뭐 기담 이런 영화들의 연출부를 하면서 현장 경험을 기르다가 제 영화를 이제 만들기 시작하면서 이제 뭐 만든 영화들이 인투비나 가려진 시간 그리고 지금 콘크리트 유토피아 이렇게 작업을 하게 됐습니다. So I actually studied design. Um, I studied the advertisement design at school, um, but I was doing uh, working as a part time on the design team and the film site, and I just became more attracted to the filming site. And when I started, I was in the directing team of the director Park Chanu. So I was part of um, his film Three Extremes, um, Epitaph, or uh, of Lady Vengeance as well. So I was I was gathering some more um, the film ex experiences from those sites. And as I started to make my own uh, own film that I started to make Intugi or um, oh, and. Sorry, vanishing time, and then it leads up to the concrete utopia now. I really do see the design, though, when it comes to concrete utopia, because it is just a gorgeous film from the set pieces uh, to the lighting and everything. So it is a beautiful film. Thank you. The film Concrete Utopia, how is uh, that concept from the beginning? Like, where did it start from to where we are today? Concrete就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utopia》，就是《Utop
있으면 좋은데 알고 계시면 좋은데 어, 한국 사람들의 50% 이상이 아파트라는 주거 형태에 살고 있고 저도 이제 거기서 나고 자랐고 어, 어, 어느 나라를 가봐도 이렇게 똑같은 형태의 주거 형태가 어, 자리 잡고 거기에 다들 어, 살고 싶어서 목을 매는 이런 형태가 또 있을까 싶을 정도로 한국에서 아파트라는 주거 형태가 가지고 있는 정말 특수성이 있다고 생각을 해서 그 이야기를 좀 해보고 싶었습니다. So I wanted to, I want to, I want you to kind of know the context of how unique and special this apartment is represent in Korea. So in Korean, uh, for more than 50% of the Koreans actually live in this apartment buildings. I was born and raised in one of those as well. And uh, I wonder, like, if you go to anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, that if they have a very, this very specific uh, residential type um, that where people live and, and the people just dying to live in one of these places, I wonder if there's another place like that. So I guess I wanted to tell a story about this very uniqueness um, of the apartments in the Korean society. That uh, I really did find that unique, something new I hadn't seen with the uh, lottery system that went into going into these apartments in the first place. Is that something that's still going on today as well uh, with these apartments? 아, 그 아파트 들어가기 위해서 사람들이 이렇게 추첨하는 거 있잖아요. 그게 지금도 네. 이루어지고 있는 일인지 물어보는 거예요. 어, 그렇게 <웃음> 너 정말 이렇게 손을 넣어서 추첨을 하는 것은 지금은 없지만 청약이라고 해서 그 웹상에서 그것이 가능한 것이 있어요. 비슷한 게. So they don't actually, you know, have these papers and do like a the physical lottery system that you have to draw the the valid, but they do have it online that you have to subscribe in order to get into the the vote. 네, 그걸 하려면 정말 그 추첨에 어, 신청한 데까지도 되게 기준이 높아서 뭐 청약을 몇년 몇 동안 그 통장을 만들어서 돈을 넣어야 되고 등급을 또 매겨 갖고 그 등급 안에서 또 그것이 가능하냐 불가하냐 정해지는 그런 시스템이 있습니다. So the subscription system is very even just hard to get into. So there are certain, uh, I guess, the payment that you have to make, or there are certain level that you have to get into in order to even put your, um, I guess, the possibility of getting into this, uh, the system for the subscription. 저도 그 통장에 돈을 넣고 있습니다. I am also putting in the money into uh, that account in order to get one. Oh, yeah, it's uh, definitely something that I really uh, got about the film. Uh, look into class and ownership and renting that's so relevant today. And I feel like you have like this universal feeling to the film, I think. Uh, Uh,对对,就是一个,哦,中度,普遍적인,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一个,一
에 대한 이야기처럼 보일 수도 있고 여러 가지 맥락으로 읽힐 수 있다고 생각을 합니다. I think this uh, movie can be uh, can have different context. You can interpret it in a different way. That for some people, that it could be it could be the residential issues that people are facing, or in for some people, it could be between the immigrants and non-immigrants clashing uh, the clashing together, or it could even be looking at as uh, the cult that you can look at as a cult. So I guess there's very different um, aspects that you can uh, watch and interpret this film. 혹은 파시즘에 대한 이야기일 수도 있고. Or it can talk, it can be about fascism as well. There's definitely a lot to unpack in it, which is something that I really loved about it. And it definitely is a movie that I would love to revisit. It. Oh, 이게 여러 가지 다양하게도 볼수 있고 여러 가지 의미와 뜻을 찾을 수 있는 영화라서 더 재밌게 본것 같습니다. 그리고 어떤 인물에 이입해서 보느냐에 따라서 어, 어떤 가치관으로 이 영화를 본, 보느냐에 따라서 결말에서 느껴지는 감정이 다 다르다는 게 어, 저도 되게 흥미로운 지점이었어요. I thought it was very interesting that depends on which character that you uh, identify with or which values that you with what values that you watch this film with that that actually gives you a different uh, different feelings and emotions at the end. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, there's so many stories, so many characters in this and it is just a film that I love watching. So my next question is working uh, with a big ensemble with this big vision of a movie, what would you say was the hardest part of it all? Um, Because 어떤 설정들을 전사들을 주려고 노력을 했고 그러니까 현장에서의 변수들을 최대한 줄이기 위해서죠. 어, 어, 뭐 가족 관계가 어떻게 됐으며 몇 호에 살고 있고 어, 뭐 전세인지 자가인지 뭐 혹은 가족 중에 누가 재난에서 죽었는지 직업은 무엇이었는지 이런 것들을 최대한 자세히 줘서 들여서 어, 현장에서 변수를 줄이려고 되게 노력을 많이 했던 것 같아요. 프리 프로덕션 단계에서. So uh, I've never actually worked with this many actors before. So that was my first time. And that was the part that I was most kind of nervous about before starting. So even if there's three actors and one started to change some of their action, some of their acting, then you get a lot of questions from the other two. So for example, in the resident, resident meeting, there are about 40, people, 40 actors and they were experienced actors. So I try to give them as detailed as possible with their personal backgrounds uh, in order to reduce the, the variables that happens in, in, in the, during the filming. So in order to reduce that, I gave them, for example, the family relationship, what unit they lived in, whether they own or they rent or who, what kind of family members that they have lost during the disaster or their career before this disaster. So I try to give them as much uh, detail as possible to be able to reduce um, all these possible variables that actually happen during filming. So I guess in terms of images or sound, I do like to control and limit myself. But when it comes to the acting of the, the performers, the actors, that I try to listen to them as much as I can. So give them all this detail uh, background and then at, at the filming site that I try to listen to them as much as I can. Yeah, I think film being such a collaborative uh, 
uh, medium. I definitely see the chemistry. All the actors here were great, and just the direction I think was just incredible. 이게 이, 배, 이 연기하고 배우라는 게 아니 이 영화를 만든다는 게 배우들의 협력과 모든 사람들의 협력이 필요한 건데 이 영화를 보면서 그게 정말 잘 조화롭게 이루어졌다는 것을 잘 느낄 수 있었습니다. 네, 감사합니다. <웃음> Yeah, so I really love the film. Is there like a plan for a wider release date uh, so that others will be able to see it as well? Or what's the plan with that right now? Uh, uh, what I've heard is that I'm pretty sure it has already premiered in Thailand and the Philippines and uh, the Southeast Asia, and in North America, it should be it should premiere in uh, the beginning of November. Okay, thank you for uh, that. So others will know when that will release. And I just want to congratulate you uh, right before I leave on the film being selected by South Korea for the Oscars. Thank you so much. Yeah, so it was great talking to you and thank you again.